video is on finding unit prices in order to find the better buy. So a unit price is a price per unit of measure. And what you want to do is get the lowest unit price. And um, it is a special rate in which the first quantity is a dollar amount. And the second one is a one unit measure. So 124 per pound, 324 each one. 399 for three, that's divide by three, 133 for each, 235 per gallon, and then 360 per dozen. So if you divide by that by 12, it'd be 30 cents each, or you could say per dozen is the amount. So let's look at how you do this. Um, you often need to make purchasing decisions based on price. Finding the lower unit price is often the way to determine a better buy. And that's the key word that you're looking for is better buy, and that will let you know that you're trying to get a unit price and compare two prices. Um, June went to a Sam's to buy bulk water. Which of the two options describes a better buy? So we have a value pack, and that's 24 bottles for 936. But these are half liter bottles. You have bigger bottles, 18 of them in a sports bottle pack, and they're 1148. So you might just say, well, this price is lower, but what if this is a bigger amount? So um, you have to find out how many liters this is. So you would divide 24 divided by 0.5 would be 12 liters, okay? And for 936. 18 75th hundredths liter bottles is 18 times 0.75, which is 13.5. So we've got 13.5 liters here. So now the question is, this is a bigger amount, and this is a bigger amount of money. This is a smaller amount, this is a smaller amount of money, but which is the better buy? And you're gonna do this by finding the unit rate, I mean the unit price. So 936 is the amount over 12, and 1148 is the amount over 13.5. So you would divide, and of course this would look like 9.36 divided by 12. And that, if you divided it all out, would be 80. It's not, not 80. It'd be 78 cents. 78 cents. So this equals 0.78 per liter. And then if you divide this out, 11.48 divided by 13.5, you'd have to move your decimal, move your decimal, and you'd get 85 cents. So this equals 0.85. So the better buy is, of course, the 78 cents, but you wouldn't know that just by looking at it, because this is really very close. This is only seven cents apart. So you have to do all the multiplying, dividing, making sure that you're using the same units to find the unit price.